Get ready to dive into a world where empires stand on the brink of war and terrible monsters tear at the fragile borderlands of men. The Adventurer Conqueror King System Imperial Imprint, or as we like to call it, Axe 2, is now live on Kickstarter. Axe 2 is the new edition of the acclaimed best-selling fantasy role-playing game. You'll find everything you need to enjoy epic fantasy campaigns with a sweeping scope. Whether you want to crawl through dungeons, experiment with alchemy, crossbreed monsters, run a merchant emporium, raise an undead legion, or even conquer an empire, Axe 2 supports your playstyle. Axe 2 integrates experience point mechanics, making campaign activities a seamless part of the core gameplay loop. Your character levels up in new and exciting ways each time you play, adding massive replayability to each of your adventures. Axe 2 offers 18 character classes, 378 spells, new combat mechanics, and so much more. Support Axe 2 on Kickstarter today. Hello, and welcome to Knocked Prone, a podcast of high crits, small fits, and varying wits. My name is Cade, and I'm the host and dungeon master of this Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition adventure, and I am joined here by the players to my left. Mason playing Lakir. Brooklyn playing Litzy. Danny playing Tess. Caden playing Blink. Awesome. So as last we left our adventurers, they were they talked to the wizards about... Uh, who had just been kicked out of Gr- Great Grumbopolis by Lakir's father, Amalek. And they were planning on staying underneath Great Grumbopolis. Uh, and they left, uh, the, the party left the group of rangers with the wizards to be taken care of, slash, hopefully healed of their knoll, poison, whatever things going on with them. And so, and then they started walking into the forest. They had a, a nice little conversation. And then they saw a saber toothed tiger. The saber-toothed tiger attacked Tess and then backed off 20 feet, and that's where we left off. Blink, you are first in the initiative order. <clears throat> okay, um, so we just have one saber-tooth, right? One saber-tooth. Okay. So far. So I am <laughs> I am going to just use my turn to cast Mage Armor, because um, I forgot to do that previously. Oh, yes. And that is really all I'm going to do right now. Okay, I need two things from you. Roll me a wild magic check okay. on, or on the wild magic table, and then also roll me your percentage dice Okay, separate from the wild magic. So that was a, a d20 and then the d100, right? Yes, and then you're within 10 feet of Tess, so you will get a plus 5 to your roll. Mm, that's right. Okay, uh, 10 on that first roll. Is that 10 with the plus 5? Yes. And then I got, what is the double zero on the D100? Is that's that, 100. That's 100? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it zero, zero, zero? It's zero, zero, six. Oh, okay. Then that's six. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were saying like yeah. triple zero. Gotcha. Okay. Interestingly enough, uh, six on the wild magic table, you may immediately take one additional action. Wow. Oh. Well, sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. That worked out pretty well. You're yeah, like, oh, man, mage armor. But yeah. here we go. Well, in that case, I am going to um, cast Chromatic Orb. Okay, go for it. Um, and since since it's a wild magic thing, you are allowed to cast two spells in one turn. Okay, sweet. 15 to hit. A 15 hits. Okay. Roll damage. All right. All right chromatic Orb is uh, what type of damage are you dealing to this Um. Thing? So I get to choose. Right. I'm, I'm going to decide fire damage. Okay. Fire. 22 fire damage. Okay. Wow. It's near max. Yeah. It's uh, two sevens and an eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this thing, uh, it, it's fur completely is engulfed in this fire and it lets out this... <laughs> It lets out the, the big old cat growl, and uh, with that, uh, as Blink's turn ends, you hear a <laughs> on the ground, but that's really it. Um, just like kind of like a rumbling of the earth. 
Foreboding. Nothing else. Nothing no. else. It's not. It's not nothing to worry about. Nothing to be suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. And if with DM that, mentions it. Worry about it. Yeah. And with that, it is Tess's turn. <laughs> Let's see. How how does the saber tooth tiger look right now? Uh, not Cures. bloodied, but but hurt. Well, I'm gonna cast cure wounds on myself. Okay. Not a d20. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. So that heals eight. Nice. I'm gonna just start walking towards. I, I, it takes me. I have to get up, so only 15 feet. Half yeah, half your movement. Get up. Oh. And then I'm gonna walk over to Lakir, who is bringing me a potion. Oh, okay. So, like, I'll, like, walk that way, grab the potion. So I'll take it, and then I'm going to turn and walk ten feet towards... The saber tooth? The saber tooth. Trying to, like, calm it. Okay. Yeah, um, make me a perception check as you do that. (laughs) (laughs) That one. (laughs) I'm pretty focused on the saber tooth. Like, I am very focused on trying to calm this thing down. And see if I can maybe stop it before my friends have to kill it before it kills me. Right. It's so, also like half undead, right? That's like, what I was going to ask. I oh, was pretty sure it was. I think that went right over my head. It has like bones and stuff sticking has, out of it, if Its rib cage is completely out <laughs> of its fact, body. That and, reminds me. Mm. This character was originally going to be like a summoner who like made undead like animal friends interesting <laughs> but I ended up not going that way you're like I can't be that life. edgy yeah I thought it was gonna that's be the I, next character <clears throat> I was a little worried it'd be too gruesome for this one but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no yeah so uh yeah the, so Tess still loves these cause there's still a little bit of a inspiration a bit of from it, that right? like past <laughs> character idea yeah okay um yeah so you hold up your hands uh you don't perceive anything out of the, other than the things that, yeah. And with that, it is Lakir's turn. All right. Um, I will run up. Okay, so you're running 30 feet to the left of the saber-toothed tiger. Okay. Um, and then I'll say, Mutt, over here, and I'll cast Scorching Ray. Okay. Uh, is that a dexterity or is that a roll? It is three rolls to hit, each dealing 2d6 fire damage if they hit. Each dealing 2d6? I Holy. believe so. The first nice. one's a natural one. Okay, that hits. The second's a natural <laughs> two. Nice. And the third one's a natural two, so all of them miss. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, yeah, that natural one uh, actually roll damage for that. Um, Ten points of fire damage. Okay, a nearby tree catches on fire. And quickly starts to spread. <laughs> and with that, it is going to be the cat's turn. So the cat, is, or the tiger, the saber tooth tiger, is going to walk up to. Uh, it's going to kind of circle around Tess, and it's going to do another bite or another claw attack on you, Tess. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm fine. <laughs> that is a, a crit, a natural twenty, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. Uh, you take 14 points of slashing damage. Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. Because double damage. And then you'll take another six points of damage. So that's 20 total. All righty. I'm How alive and well. You're alive and well? 20 Good. damage. Sweet. I took. And hey. I have eight. Okay. <laughs> well, um, and then it's going to uh, look kind of da- like look... Like it's um, outnumbered and it's going to back off. I try to Would calm you it like, down while it's backing. Would off. you like to take an attack of opportunity as it's walking away from you? I pet it. <laughs> I'm gonna pet it while it walks Roll away. Roll me an animal handling check. The dice are not with us tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. We Nine. got some massive nine? thing heading our way. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah, with a nine, uh, the it looks at you. Uh, you pat it on its head on its head once and it flees like it just turns and books it and it's gonna take some cover because it's kind of spooked but that is it's tur- yeah so it's gonna run 35 feet away from you Tess into uh, the nearby trees and behind a large rock and with that that is it's turn it is now Litzy's turn hey <laughs> um I am going to run up to Tess and cast Cure Wounds. We got seven. 
And an eight. Nice. Nice. So you heal up uh, plus your modifier, 20. correct? You oh. just healed him for all the damage. Yes, the you just yes. Deal, you are healed 20 points of damage. Let's You're the healer. Yes. You no longer blow things up. <laughs> she yes. actually casts, um, what is it, like the, the scorch, burning hands on him. Yeah, and just <laughs> cauterize the Fireball. wound. Yeah, the, the, the bite marks go away. And um, with that, it is now, or, unless there's anything else you'd like to do with your turn. Um, no. Hey, with that, it is going to go back around to Blink's turn. Okay. So um, I'm going to see the fire that has started spreading after the uh, after Lakira's attack. And uh, I'm going to, um, you know, panicking because um, this is like, you know, my original home. And uh, I'm going to run up to the fire and I'm going to cast Ray of Frost to try to put it out. Okay, roll an attack. Okay. Just to see how well you do with that. And if you get higher than 15, I'll say that it all goes out. Okay. 10. 10? Okay, <laughs> you get most of it, though. You get most of it, and the trees that are covered in this frost are starting to melt by the fire around them. So it may like it may put it out, okay. but it's not all out yet. Um, and with that, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, so that was a cantrip, not technically a spell. Do I still need to? Do I roll on the wild magic oh, table? Oh, I'm for so that? sorry. Yes, you roll on the wild magic okay, table. Okay, I forget. Sweet. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if that applied to cantrips as well. But okay, I have a twelve. Okay, and then twenty. Uh, you immediately gain 15 temporary hit points. I'm pretty sure we got that one before. Yeah. Yes, I'll so you it. are awesome. bolstered, uh, feeling good about this f- uh, fire that you've just mostly put out. And with that, it is Tess's turn. Likir, um, how strong is this potion? As far as I know, it's just a typical one. Who, who do I think has, like, game. the most athletic, acrobatic capability? Here. Uh, athletics is strength. No, it's dexterity. No, athletics is strength. acrobatics oh. is dexterity. So strength. Um, I'm pretty sure. Does Blink have the highest strength? Uh, I have a 15. Yes, Blink has the highest strength. So, um, are we in like trees right now? Is that yes. why? So we we can hear there's something large, basically, but we can't really see it mm-hmm. over the trees. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna run over to. Blink and cast jump. Okay, and uh, jump makes his jump size tripled. Correct. So it does <laughs> triple it, and the duration is one minute. Oh, one Ooh. minute. Okay. Is it concentration? Oh, it's not concentration. Okay, great. All right. So you feel. Uh, not only do you feel all these temporary hit points wiggling in you, you now <laughs> feel all this uh, this jumping stuff too. Okay. So, uh, and with that, test is there anything else you like to do with your turn? Nope, that'll be it. Okay, look here. I will scream out, come back here, and um, I will get closer, and I will use my bonus action to cast my refined arcane dart. Um, So similar to the dart that was showed you, um, I bring my hand up um, with my two fingers, index and middle finger up, and my thumb out, and a bolt will appear, and then I will close my thumb and you can and it's like kind of there's extra energy on the bolt that you can see and you you can, you can see as it splits and becomes two different bolts that are very clear and refined and detailed um, and I will just have those hovering by me okay and then uh, are they gonna go to hit or um, I can't see the creature or can I is, it, is uh, the rock small enough three quarters cover you can see bits of it okay in so that it has case, a, it has an added AC, but you can if you'd like. Um, I will attempt to hit it, um, but as part of it, I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Great. Um, so I will cast Magic Missile. You'll see another three darts appear, and all five will go and swarm the target. Okay. 12 points of damage from the Magic Missiles. Um, and my two, um, a, a 16 to hit? A 16 just hits. And a 13 to hit, which does not hit. Does not. So um, it takes an extra six points of damage okay. from that. So 18 points in total. All right. Awesome. So it uh, it wobbles back and forth a little bit, and it looks very much hurt. 
And with that, it is its turn, and it's going to uh, do another cat called a thing. And uh, everyone make me a perception check. Eight. Eighteen. Fourteen. Also eighteen. Nice. Okay, so Blink and Litzy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You see, um, peeking out from the trees is a... um, Oh, it's a strange sight. It's a reptilian creature about the size of a cow, a little bit bigger than a cow. Uh, It has a large tail, a really big... Uh, some really big teeth and little arms, and it uh, it pokes out of the trees, and with that, um, use a a reptilian dinosaur comes out of the comes out of the forest, mostly skeletal, like you could see its bones. It looks fossilized. Um, imagine night at the museum, but half of it looks like it was still in a in a glacier. Um, and had been preserved, and so this thing is terrifying. You can see all of its innards. It is, and it as it comes onto the battlefield from its uh, its, but it lets out the big Jurassic Park growl, and uh, that is the end of the saber tooth tiger's turn. With that, it is Litzy's turn. I'm going to um, run closer towards the both of the creatures because they're kind of close to each other, right? Right. And I'm actually going to cast Firebolt at the kitty cat. Okay, roll the hit. 19. Uh, no, a 19 hits. <laughs> okay, sweet. <laughs> An 8 damage. Okay. It catches, it's still kind of already on fire, but it catches a little more on fire. <laughs> it, the, the, the end of its tail, it looks like a Pokemon now because it's got like fire on the end of its tail and like it looks pretty dang cool, like a pyroar. I think that's what it's called. I don't even know. Um, anyway, with that, <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn, Litzy? No, that is all. Okay, we'll go back around to Blink. So, question is, how high can I jump? So it's probably high jump, because I'm high trying jump. to go up. Move 10 plus feet and jump a number of feet equal to 3 plus your strength modifier. Okay, so... Unless you, if you standard ju- standing jump, you can only jump half that distance. So then I would be able to, if I ran 10 feet, I'd be able to jump times it by three, 15 feet yes. in the air. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run 10 feet and uh, jump um, 15 feet in the air Okay. Um, to try to see, I don't know, I guess we already know what it is though, huh? I don't really need to jump and investigate on it. It actually, might be, it might be worth it. You actually, know in the forest. Um, let's see. How far away am I? Is it a is it a large creature? Yes, the okay. dinosaur. Yes, is a large creature. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna just move up to it, and then I am going to cast. Let's just hit it with the uh, ray of frost again. How if looking at the forest fire? How is that looking? Good. Uh, most it's it's mostly melted. Uh, still, there's still embers, kind of um, going a little bit, like sparks every so often. Uh, not a lot. I guess embers would take a minute, but whatever. Um, it's still it's still going, but it's not like it's it's not growing too rapidly. Okay. Um. Cool. So I'm gonna try to hit it with ray of frost. Okay. Eighteen to hit. And eighteen hits. Okay. Awesome. Um. And then. Uh, it's going to be 8 cold damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Okay. So- Considering that it's a uh, reptilian, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cold, cold probably blooded. doesn't suit well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also awesome. half dead, so we don't really know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's um. Like- Definitely not trying to find a warm rock to sleep on yeah. if it's yeah. if it's undead. <laughs> and then uh, roll me a a wild magic. Oh yeah, table. that's right. A cold rock, maybe. Cold rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a one, so six, and then eighty-two. The caster is surrounded by powdery snow, and takes one d six of cold damage. Oh no. Well, I mean, you put how many <laughs> fire I started yeah. at least. Uh, you'll take yeah. five points of cold damage. Okay. Unfortunately. Does any of that snow hit the wildfire? 
Uh, yes, actually, that is enough to put out the wildfire. Yay! Yay! Wild magic. That's odd and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and you only lost temporary hit points for it, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you said that. I took <laughs> Sorry. It no, I'm so glad you said or that. rather, you're welcome. Yes. Yeah, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, and with that, it's going to be the uh, the dinosaur's turn. Uh, for all the technicalities out there, it's an Allosaurus. So the Allosaurus is going to approach... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Tess, uh seeing that you are bloodied um, at least from the previous hits that have hit you from the uh, saber tooth the allosaurus he's going to sniff in the air and then charge at you letting out this terrible roar and then it's going to hit you with a claw attack uh, that is 20 point or 20 points to hit 20 to hit non nat that'll hit and then That'll do, pig. <laughs> that'll, that'll do, pig. Uh, that'll be 11 points of slashing damage. And roll me a strength saving throw. Six. Unfortunately, a six does not save, and you are knocked prone. Uh, and then it's going to attack you with its bite attack as a bonus action. That is a 21 to hit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's 10 plus 4... That's max. That's 14 points of piercing damage. And I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it is A-O to the K. Okay. And that is the end of its turn. Well, the amount of HP I was missing now just became the amount of HP I have. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> and with okay. that, it's going to be Tess's turn. Being badly injured. Oh, hard choices, but... Tess is going to cast Healing Spirit. Ah, yes. In this area. I call forth a, nat- a nature spirit. So in a five-foot cube, you can see within uh, range, the spirit looks like a transparent beast. Uh, you cause the spirit to restore 1d6 hit points to the creature. <laughs> okay, so for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there, I can cause the spirit to heal 1d6. Gotcha. And that's for anyone who enters the the zone that's there, right? Yes. And so I think, does that mean I can do it on the first spawn? Uh, Yeah, if you end your turn there in the the radius, then you'd be allowed to. Okay, okay. Drink the potion real quick. Two. (laughs) Dang. Three. Plus two. So five points of healing damage. Nice. (laughs) Five points of healing. It is technically whenever you move into it for the first time on your turn or you start your turn there. So start. it oh, technically okay. would... What if I leave the five foot zone? As long as you stay within his attack range. And then go back. So work. I do like a little jig around this dinosaur. <laughs> and then you walk back in. Okay, yeah. So you... Um, <laughs> he tilts his head to the side as you are dancing as... Um, and he kind of gets excited. He wags his tail. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I try to like pat like the poofy part of his chest a little bit. Poofy, poofy. Yep. <laughs> He's a dinosaur. <laughs> he, I pet his guts. <laughs> Four. Okay, nice. So I you just enjoyed like visualizing blood. like this poofy dinosaur. <laughs> little do you know, it has uh, feathers all over it. Like it's, a tuft of hair on its chest. It's nice. And is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Um. Nope, that'll be it. Okay, Lakir, you are up. I am going to run. Is it possible to climb on it at all? Yeah, it's a, um, yes. Okay, with my 10 feet of movement, I just want to, like, start climbing up the back of it, get a grip wherever I can, and take out my longsword and just plunge it in, casting green flame blade. Okay, roll an attack. Sick. Hey, something that's not bad. Uh, 16. 16 misses. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, I just wanted to mess with you. something that's not bad, Kane. Oh, but it is so it bad. Does. He's behind the cover of your sword now, so. <laughs> so it takes six points of damage, and I'll basically just be roar as loud as I can. Just to, roar! Trying to get it to focus on me. 
it is very frustrated as it feels like you're not even massaging the good parts of its shoulder right now. <laughs> so like, oh, no. and this is yeah, he's it's a bad wake up call. And with that, uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, I guess with my bonus action, I'll summon some darts. Okay, again. Um, with that, it is going to be the saber tooth tiger's turn. It is going to do a fun little uh, dead charge from behind the rock towards you, Blink. Okay. And it will do its pounce attack. Okay. Um, does does a does a natural one hit? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and uh, hit with hit with a weapon. Do you have a weapon on you? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, pull it out and stab him with it or something. Okay, so <laughs> um, I haven't used this yet, but I have a, um, <clears throat> I have like a mace that is a, a I've had since um, I was living in the woods originally. It's like a homemade mace. I've just been waiting to use this. Okay, yeah. So it is. It's made out of. Uh, it's got like a a bone handle. Um, that has like cloth wrapped around it and then um the mace part is just um pieces of like splintered bone like chaotically randomly sticking out of like just a a, just a ball at the end of this um mace and uh so i'm just gonna swing that at him attack roll right yeah roll it okay Uh, so that that's a four to hit. <laughs> a four unfortunately doesn't hit. Yeah. But since uh, you you're kind of seeing behind the the uh, saber tooth tiger, roll me a some percentage dice. Okay. Seventy seven. Okay. Um, and roll me a d four. Okay. Three. Three familiar looking dire wolves come out of the <gasps> forest. It seems that your pack has arrived, Blink. Yay! And they, <laughs> as soon as they come out of the forest and make eye contact with you, they go, <laughs> And they, I will add them into the initiative. Do you want to roll me a group initiative for them, just one? Yes. Hey, Blink was raised by wolves. You turn into a wolf. It's, a, it's an automatic friendship right there. Okay. Uh, it's got a plus two. Okay. Sweet. 19. A 19. Okay. Yes. Um, so they they tied with you. Go ahead and roll me another. Uh, wait, what's your dex? Is plus one. Oh, okay. So they actually are going to uh, go at the top of the order because they rolled just barely higher than you. Um, with that, um, that's the end of the Sabertooth Tiger's turn. It is looking fairly hurt and is sad that it can't be eating food right now. And with that, it's Litzy's turn. All right, I I hope this works, but I want to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so that I'm kind of coming in, um, so I kind of walk back around Blink, so that um, I would like to cast um, my Firebolt Cantrip again, but maneuvered so that I'm not hitting any of my party members, okay. so that I'll look okay to you. Yes. 15 to hit. Uh, against which one? The kitty. Yes, that definitely hit. Six oh, out of ten. I thought it was a zero. Sorry. I actually had it pulled up on my phone. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no you're fine. Use the book. Let's see. Use the book. Yeah. This is like jump. You <laughs> better <laughs> not waste. Yeah. Can't waste jump. <laughs> I opened the book for you. Sorry, you were saying let's see. Six. I rolled a six. Oh, for damage. Uh, damage. Okay. You don't have to actually. Uh, the. <laughs> oh, the. I also got this. Sabertooth Tiger looks like a pelt on on Blink right now. And it is it is so dead weight right now. You are unaware of whether it is alive or dead. That is how hurt it is. And with that, it is going to unless you'd like to do anything else with your turn? Nope. It is the wolf's turn. Ooh. Arroo! Nice. Oh, am I controlling? Yes, you are in complete okay. control of the wolves, awesome. sir. Awesome, dope. So Whoa. I'm just going to... Um, uh, I'm going to have Point all... Point at th- Tess and be like, he's the medius. Go get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear he's Look, delicious. He's injured. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll just have them all... Uh, 
go after the Allosaurus. Okay. Uh, roll their attacks. Okay, so I, I need to make sure they can actually reach all the way. So they, they have a speed of 40 feet. Okay, yeah, sweet. So they all gang up on the winter wolf. They they have pack tactics, right? Because they're wolves. Um, They do. The wolf has advantage on attack rolls against a creature if it at least... Um, if at least one of the wolf's allies is within five feet of the creature and the ally isn't incapacitated. So, yeah. Sweet. All right. So they all get advantage on their attacks. Come kick this Allosaurus's butt. Okay. So first wolf, so 13 to hit. A 13 hit. Does it? Yeah. I also accidentally rolled a d12 I for my... That, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I couldn't tell from this distance. I was like, is that a d12? Yeah. But I was Luckily, like, the other the one light is just wrong. For damage. <laughs> uh, six piercing damage. Okay. On the first one. Awesome. Second one's gonna do the same, and these are all just bite attacks, so they're right. just they're just biting. Twenty-two to hit. Hits. Ten piercing. Nice. And then last one, another twenty-two to hit. All right. And nine piercing. Holy cow! All right, this Allosaurus looks super injured like very bloodied from all those bites they're taking chunks out of whatever skin that he has left and um with that it is your turn now blink okay awesome um so i'm going to attempt to run and jump on the back of its neck how how tall would this be it's about the size it's a it's the size of about a large cow oh okay so is this you that is doing this? Because just as a heads up, you'll get the saber to attack of opportunity, which is fine. Oh. I just thought I'd let you know. But I thought it was down. Oh, it might be. No, we don't it's, oh. it's, know that for sure. He just said on it top of very it. it's close dead to weight. dead. It's not dead. Oh. Okay. You could jump. You could do a grapple and jump. And then just <laughs> drop it, and then it takes 2d6 damage <laughs> yeah. from falling to yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay. In that case... Let's uh, let's hit it hit it with my my mace again. Sixteen to hit the saber tooth. That hits, and okay. as you're hitting it, go ahead and tell me how you're going to um, kill this thing. Its life is in your hands, okay? Quite literally. Uh, so that was also six damage, by the way, just to Perfect. make sure that that finishes yes, it, it off. It definitely does. Um, so it had one point of health left. Okay, awesome. So, uh, was it like, um, how, how was it like dead weight? Um, So it was, it pounced at you and its claws like hugged around you. So it was, it literally looked like just this huge blanket that just like slammed into you, but you were able to hold your own. So yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna, um, like it pounces on me, uh, dead weights, uh, with my, left hand um i'm going to uh throw it onto the ground and then um like uh hold on to my mace with both hands over my head and then just smash down on its head as hard as i can okay um and how much damage did you say five six six okay hits the ground and it lets out a is that the end of your turn um let's see i'm gonna use my movement and I'm just gonna get a little closer to the Allosaurus, but kind of on the opposite side. That's like not so crowded between the wolves and the other players. I hate to inform you. Okay. So this uh, it's a zombie saber tooth tiger, and it just it succeeded on its Constitution saving throw, putting putting it back up at one hit point instead of dying. And oh, okay. So, as you walk away, it slashes at your ankles. I don't think I'm uh, 14 to hit. Um, that meets beats. Oh, dang. I thought you had a 15. Well, That's I apologize. Uh, you're going to take nine points of slashing damage. Okay. I apologize for not warning you that that was going to happen. I oh, was it just is like, fine. I should have known because <laughs> I... Somatically, it kind of makes sense. Like, if I you saw bash... You- so I was gonna say, if you bash something's head and it like dies, basically, you're like, all right, I'm good. Yep. You don't expect it to be like, no, I'm actually coming back 
from the dead. Yeah. As soon as you rolled that d20, I was like, he's rolling to see if it makes its con save to stay alive. And <laughs> yeah. It made it by one because it's the um, it's the amount of the uh, damage taken uh, plus five, and it rolled a twelve on its. Oh, that makes sense. I was curious. I was like. Because you're like, oh, how do you want to do this? Like, as if he had died. But then you asked him what his damage was again. And I was like, whoa. Why? <laughs> Don't you already know that it kills him? And uh, with that, is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Uh, that'll be it, yep. Okay, the Allosaurus, uh, in an act of desperation, is going, still going to try and get its last meal in. I apologize, Tess. I also cast Mage Armor right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to cast Mage Armor. Does a 14 hit your armor class? It does not. All right. Um, and with that, it... Uh, I silkily dodge its attack while, like, hugging its leg. <laughs> Beautiful. It is, it is just sad because it has one attack per turn. And with that, that's the end of its turn because uh, it's not even going to try and walk away and take... <laughs> Was it okay because I'm hugging its leg now? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you've got it. You've got it <laughs> held down. Uh, and with that, it is going to be Tess, your turn. You heal. You're, you're hugging a dinosaur leg. Ah, uh-huh, I heal. You Sorry, heal. I just didn't want you 1d6, to 1d6, sir. Nice. Max! I'm going to cast Guidance on the wolf next to me. Nice. I see a wolf and I'm like, oh, hello. And I cast Guidance. Okay, cool. Uh, so it gets a. Is the spirit healing a concentration? No, uh, I don't cast guidance. I don't even <laughs> think about it. Sorry, I just. No, I'm glad you brought that up because I was already like, oh, I have to take Litzy's guidance away. Yeah. But. Almost made the same mistake twice. Okay, well, I just keep hugging this leg. I grapple him. You grapple him. I'm okay, freaking... roll a grapple check. I it's grapple gonna be a disadvantage because this... he's large, right? <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, oh, disadvantage. Two. <laughs> Two? Okay. Uh, the the dinosaur looks down and shakes its leg and then realizes maybe maybe you staying close to it is what it wants. And so it's going to let you stay on its leg. <laughs> With that, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, that'll end my turn. Look here. It is your turn. All right. I'm s- still on its back, correct? Or has it shaken me off? No, you're on its back. Can I climb up the rest of its way to like the head? And I basically just want to cast magic missile again and force all of the missiles down into its head. Okay. Roll some damage. Seven points of force damage. Okay. And then for the arcane bolts, a natural two, so that misses, and a natural 19, so that hits. So an extra seven points of damage, so 14 total. Okay. Uh, unfortunately for you, dinosaur brains are a lot smaller than uh, you would have hoped for. It's like the size of a walnut, right? I, I don't yeah. even know. It's small. <laughs> and so you are like, you thought you were like, okay, these bolts are going to hit it right in the brain. And um, But it, it <laughs> if I'm being honest, it is on one HP right now. <laughs> so I want to, um, with my movement, I want to swing down and basically if I can interpose myself between Tess and it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can do that. You'll uh, you'll give Tess some half cover, we'll say. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so with that, yeah, you... <laughs> You will Tess have is, to like Tess kind is on of, its leg. Yeah. You'll have to like grab <laughs> me and pull me off the leg. Are, if you're willing to come with, yeah. I'll do that and take a protective stance. Protective stance. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Um, and with that, it is Sabertooth Tiger's turn. Uh, it gets up from its prone state, which will take half of its movement. And unfortunately... <laughs> that, that bait, though. That's just like... <laughs> one, two... Three. He attacks you. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. seeing that no other uh, target is nearby, it's going to run up and attack you, Litzy. And... Sorry about it. No. <laughs> you didn't know. You thought it was dead. <laughs> that is a natural 20. Does that hit? It sure does. I'm so sorry. sorry. So for damage, could I use one of my luck points? That's the feat that I took. Can I use... It sounds like I can use one of my luck points to roll against damage. You can make an attack roll against you have disadvantage, I believe. Okay, yeah, roll me a d20. Do I have to say that before, though, technically? Uh, Probably, No, no. Yeah, that's So you roll its attack for it. 
and expend one of your luck points. Two! <laughs> okay, you're going to take... I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, with a two, it unfortunately misses, and uh, it, like, had you in its mouth as it rolled the natural 20. But then you're like, wait, I'm luckier than this. <laughs> and then it was like, ah, when was the last time you showered and, like, backed up? And with that, that is the end of its turn. And let's see, it is now your turn. You have a, uh, you, your hair is a little wet from saber tooth tiger slobber, but other than that, you're feeling great. So I've been casting spells this whole time. If I want to use my great club, does that expend anything? You can take out a, if you are unarmed, you can take out a weapon. Part okay. Of, as part of it. As part okay. of your attack. Well, I would like to take out my great club and does a 21 hit. Uh, He's going to use a luck point. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, a 21 does hit. (laughs) Uh, Six points of damage. So uh, you hit it for six points of damage. It again falls to the ground and uh, it slowly gets back up again. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. I'm sorry. I just feel like I totally took you your turn away. I feel terrible. I was, no, I, was I was excited for you to kill it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> with that is the wolves turn. Okay. And they're just going to do what they do best. And they're just going to bite uh, the Allosaurus. Okay. Nat 20. Okay. Um, you know what? Go ahead and describe how you're going to kill this guy with this wolf. Okay. So these uh, wolves are attacking him. And um, this wolf just... Uh, finds a, an open wound near the neck area and it's going to lunge and um, bite its uh, uh, its like its spine and its neck and just just like snap it okay. to the side. Uh, roll me your damage just because he has undead fortitude. Okay. Let's see 2d6. 21 damage. 21 damage. Okay. Let's Sorry, see. So undead true. fortitude uh, 5... Five plus damage taken. Five so con save, five plus damage taken. So twenty-six is the save. Let's see what its constitution modifier even is. I don't think this is gonna it has a three modifier. Uh your wolves decimate this thing. Eat all of the flesh off of it, and it's just lying there dead. Nice. And fully dead. It, its eyes are closed, tail no longer wagging. And with that seems <laughs> oddly fine with the wolves just like <laughs> destroying this thing. Yeah. Well, I mean they're furrier, so like, that's just what wolves do. <laughs> yeah. That's just. And uh, with that, blink. It's your turn. Okay. Um. So pretty much just the saber tooth is left, right? Yes, and it has one hit point. Okay. Hmm. So I'm gonna just cast um, firebolt at it. Okay. Roll to hit. Okay. It's eleven to hit. And 11 actually hits. Oh, really? Its armor class is 10. Oh, nice. That's yeah. awesome. It's no dex. No dex. So it's five uh, fire damage. Aha. Um, it says a flammable object hit by this spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. This thing has just continually been ablaze. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's on super on fire. It's, it has to succeed on a 10 constitution save. It has a plus two to its constitution. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it the fight the dies. resilience of this saber tooth oh, tiger. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. I have an idea. Kill it, blink. I can't use it. Never mind. Continue, continue. Oh no worries. Um, with that, it is the Allosaurus's turn, and it buries itself in the ground. It's super dead. Um, mm-hmm. it's it's just dead. Uh, Tess, it's your turn now. <laughs> My turn. You heal. You heal. 1d6. Aha. Woo. The, the spirits, every single time that you're healing, are giving you like a, a rub on your back, you know? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I needed this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can feel just the light like pulsating through you as you're healing from these spirits. I'm going to, oh, I probably can't even make it, but I'm going to start running over towards the uh, saber tooth tiger. Saber tooth over here. I make it. Nice. But now what? <laughs> but now what? I'm going to grapple it. 18. Well, you successfully have this saber tooth t- tiger grappled. It's kind of oozing on you with its uh, 
Make me a perception check with advantage since you're grappling this thing. No. Uh, 12 total. Okay, perfect. Uh, the blood in this thing? Purple. Purple blood. <laughs> Oozing out of it. What blood it kind of has. I mean, zombies don't necessarily have a ton of blood, but like... What, what little it does. What little it does. It's purple. And with that, um, it is Lakir's turn. Oh, I know what I was doing too. I'm going to cast my arcane darts again and send both of them this way. Natural two and natural three. So they. Oh, wait, never mind. This one's a 14. Um, 20 to hit. 20 hits. So seven points of damage. Good. Uh, I mean, oh gra- it had to roll gosh. literally a natural one. No, it couldn't have failed that. Seven points of damage. It has plus five, and you said it has a plus no, two plus constitution. plus five to five. the. So 12 would have been. Oh, good. that's true. You're good. So, um,. Unfortunately, your arcane darts hit it, but this thing is, like, hungry, and it is mad that you have killed its best friend, Dinosaur. And so it, it, it just it refuses to die. Uh, it is its turn. <laughs> and Man, literally too angry to die. <laughs> too angry to die, seriously. And with only one creature in its range, Tess, unfortunately, you're going to get attacked by this, this saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> A nine to hit. That misses. Okay. I just squeeze it tighter. With that, <laughs> yeah, it like tries to claw at you. Like and trying it's, to scratch its own back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it can't really get you. Well, with that, it is still grappled by you. That's the rest of its turn. Um, <laughs> let's see. Your turn. You are standing face to face with a grappled cat. Grappled tiger. Like I would that. like to use my great club again. Okay. Roll to hit. 13 to hit. A 13 hits. Sweet. Nine points of damage. Hey! Yeah, natural one! Describe how your great club is going to kill this tiger. One. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he rolled it in front of us. <laughs> it's not funny if you don't know. Um, <laughs> um, seeing that this cat has come alive again and again, I'm going to just try to bash its head in. <laughs> So that it's it's like as as destroying it as much as possible. So I'm gonna bring my great club over my head, bring it down with force, and smash in its skull. That happens. The saber tooth tiger and the allosaurus lie dead. The purple goop that was covering them seeps into the ground, and they lie skeleton corpses. And um, with that, behind a tree, you hear. Are they dead now? And a little man like hops up. He's a he's a halfling. He hops up and he's like, "Hi, I'm, I'm Boggy Billy. Nice to make your acquaintance." And that's where we're gonna end our session for today. My name is Cade, and I'm the host and dungeon master of this Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition adventure. And I'm joined here by the players to my left: Mason playing Lakir, Brooklyn playing Litzy, Danny playing Tess, Caden playing Blink. All right, make sure you are following our social medias at Knocked Prone and leave us a review on this podcast. Uh, We're going to do a special giveaway once we get enough reviews on our podcast. And it really helps us get Knocked Prone out into more audiences and more listening libraries. All right, awesome. Now, uh, we hope that you remember that when life knocks you flat on your back, all you got to do is keep rolling and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.